Well, I gotta get that, get set up. What's going on, people? I'm here at HEB to get started on the blackberry cobbler I'm gonna make today. Uh, I gotta get some ingredients. I'm gonna give me some blackberry pie filling and some whole blackberries. So, I gotta get that, get set up, and all that stuff. I'll, of course, be filming it, but I had to come here and get some of that first. I uh, figured a blackberry collar would be pretty good for my first video because I've never made it before. It'd be a pretty good experiment. So, and if it turns out good, I'll keep making it. If it turns out bad, I'll probably still keep making it. But, uh, yeah, let's see what happens. Well, guys, I just got out of the store and, uh, this cobbler better be really good because I got two cans of pie filling just in case. And I got a couple containers of blackberries. And I already knew blackberries were kind of expensive, but just those two cans and uh, a couple containers of blackberries were $15. So, yeah, this cobbler better be pretty good. So, I'll see y'all when I get everything set up. Okay, guys. So, get my coals ready. Use this little thing my grandpa gave me. But before you light it, you always want to let it soak in lighter fluid for a while so it keeps the fire going and doesn't go out really fast. So, you gotta make sure you get a lot in there. Hopefully I don't set my grass on fire. Okay. To let those heat up. And then I'll get started on the Dutch oven. Okay, so I'm about to put the butter in my Dutch oven. I already got the dough already made. All I did was used milk, sugar, uh, baking powder, and I'll put the recipe in the video. And then here's the pie filling and blackberries that I mixed together. So let me get the butter in here. You can tell it's pretty hot already. One thing you want to make sure you do when you put your butter in is see how it's going to the right side. Kind of tap it. Try and get it to go in the middle and it stays in the middle. Set kind of your meter of how even your cobbler is going to cook. See, it's still going over there a little bit. I gotta get this last one in here. So I want to try and, try and get it more even. This grill might be So, got that pretty straight, so I'm going to let the butter melt all the way and then start putting the ingredients in. Okay, so I'm getting the coals all set up. I'm going to put eight on the bottom. I'm using a skillet because my dad's really strict on what I put the Dutch oven on, so I'm using this as a platform so I don't burn anything. So, you gotta make sure it's evenly placed too, or it's not gonna cook right. And cook on even, burnt in some spots, raw in other spots. So, let me get my. Okay, so now I gotta get put 
about 16 on the lid. Make sure these are evenly spaced too. Uh, you put more on top because the bottom will cook a lot faster since it's right next to the coals. So I'm going to get it a lot more on top so it cooks evenly through and through. And depending on the weather, you can add extra too. Like say it's pretty cold outside, I'd add a few poles. But if it's pretty hot outside, you might want to take one off. And if it's windy, you always want to add a few extra. And uh, yeah, so go let this heat up. And then we'll put our butter in there. Okay, so you always want to put your dough in first. Try not to splash around too much. So I'm not sure how this filling is going to turn out why it's an experiment cobbler but either way it'll probably still taste pretty good it's just the blackberry pie filling and the uh, whole blackberries mixed with the half a cup of sugar and I added some milk and water to so it's not so uh, like I don't know just so it's more liquidy Make sure it's nice and even. And then uh, check on it every like, I don't know, don't look at it for like the first 15 minutes because if you take the lid off, all the heat's going to be released because it's trapped in there. So you don't want to check the cobbler until like 15, 20 minutes after you put it in there. So I'll be back in 20 minutes or so. Okay, so I'm going to check on the cobbler. It's been about 20 minutes already. Okay, so it's looking pretty good right now, actually. So I'll probably give it uh, maybe 10 more minutes. I'll, I might check on it in about 5, just so I don't overcook it. But I'm going to get this back on so the heat stays in there. Sorry guys, I almost forgot to give credit to my cooking partner Bruce. He's he always makes sure the pot the cobbler tastes nice and good. But I'm pretty sure it tastes good to him either way. Right Bruce? Alright, so came out here to check on it again. Let's see if it's done. No, not not quite. I'm gonna give it about Probably checked it too early to release a bunch of the heat, so I'll probably give it another five, five, six minutes or so. Okay, so it's been about 40 minutes since I put everything in there. So it should be pretty close to done. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think it's pretty close to done. And when I take it off the coals, when I take it off the coals, it's not like the heat's going to go away instantly. So, it'll still be heating up a little bit, even if it's not all the way, all the way done. So, uh, let me, uh, dump my coals out. You got, get your lid and your lid holder. Take it to wherever you're going to dump it. You don't really want to put it in the grass, because it's just going to... Make sure you get all of it off. Don't worry about the ashes. You can just wash that off with water when and I'll show you all how to clean up and season it. Okay. So Alright. 
So I'm going to go get a pot holder, and then I'm going to take it inside, let it cool off for five minutes or so, and then I'll serve it to my family, and they'll tell you what they think about it. So, Okay, Gummery, how was it? First bite, one out of ten. Nine. Nine? So it turned out really good? Okay, let me go ask Caitlin. Okay. No way. How I was know. it? One out of ten. It's like a seven. Okay. Ten. Turned out better than I thought. Okay. Let me ask Dad. Okay, Dad. How was it? At a one to ten. Seven. Seven. Okay, that's what Caitlin said too. Turned out pretty good. You can't have cobbler. Without ice cream. Okay, guys. You have to have homemade vanilla ice cream or it's not cobbler. The dogs had to get their fair share of the cobbler. Made them some cobbler cups. <laughs> Bruce is destroying his bowl over here. Bruce, I think you got it all. Yup, they like it. What do you think, Bruce? Oh, he's not done. Okay, the collar turned out great. Uh, Could have used a little more sugar and a little more dough. You can tell there's a lot more berries than there's dough. But I'll remember that next time. Anyways, so I'm going to put the rest of it in here because my mom's at work and she's still going to get some. So, and then after this, I will show you all how to clean the Dutch oven and then season it for the next cook. Alright, so when I'm done with this, I'll be right back.